Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video, as you could tell obviously by the title, I'm going to be talking about stocking stuffer ideas for this year since things are a little crazy and that is a massive understatement. I'll just go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start this list with things that I would consider more I guess practical items, things that you can just buy in a store and give someone um, without really having to put too much effort into it. Um, and then there are a few more um, creative, I guess would be the word, ideas that are still um, pretty simple, pretty easy, and pretty inexpensive. Um, but I just wanted to start with the more practical stuff first because that makes sense for you guys as viewers. The first two are like the most obvious that I could say this year and that is hand sanitizers. Um, I personally ha have an obsession with the Bath and Body Works mini ones just because um, whenever they go on sale they're usually pretty cheap if you can get them on sale and Bath and Body Works has sales all the time. Obviously you don't have to get the Bath and Body Works ones. I'm pretty sure they sell scented ones at Walmart um, and if you have somebody that doesn't like scents, just get them regular hand sanitizer. Um, especially with COVID cases on the rise, um, the way things are going through the holidays, I am anticipating that there will be another lockdown in a lot of states. I think California is already under one. Um, so getting hand sanitizer now is a good idea rather than waiting. And to follow up with hand sanitizer, the next, I guess it's not obvious, um, it's totally extra and unnecessary, but it's a little holder for the hand sanitizer. This one, it's so fuzzy, you can't even see the face, but this one's supposed to be like a little cat, and it has a clip that you can put it onto your bag. Um, they obviously, they, they sell these at Bath and Body Works as well. Um, and I just have my hand sanitizer. This one's the stress relief smell in it. Um, but this, um, I like having a holder for it so I can clip it onto my bag and whenever I need it I don't have to dig through my bag to find it because then like if I feel like my hands are dirty, like my whole bag is now dirty and since I like had to rummage through it to find my hand sanitizer so I think these like make it more convenient. Um, they don't just have the cat ones at Bath and Body Works but um, I have seven cats, one of them just hopped up into my lap so obviously this is the one I picked. The next one um, that is also like really cheap and really useful, like I feel like like anyone could receive this and they would be happy about it or fine about it, and that is chapstick because like I don't know about you guys but my lips get awful, like my, my lips are dry already so in the winter especially I like to have um, quite a few. Like I keep one in my backpack, one in my wallet, and one in the car just in case I don't have it. And then there's um, the ones in like my vanity as well. The next thing, and I, you'll probably be noticing a trend here, um, is hand cream. And again, like with these cold winter months, um, hands get really dry. And I like to keep like one of these in my purse and in my car. This one is the um, pumpkin marshmallow latte. It was upside down. Sorry about that. Um, pumpkin marshmallow latte from Bath and Body Works as well. Obviously not sponsored by them, but God, if I could be, <laughs> like I'm embarrassed to say like how much money I have spent on Bath and Body Works products over the years. Um, but um, little hand creams like this you can also find at Walmart, especially during the holidays. Um, like over in the gift set aisle usually they'll have a bin with just like different scents but the trend that I'm getting at so far is that I I think this year particularly but generally the way I like to give gifts is something that someone can use um, and like use up and like do like interact with it in some way rather than just getting them a gift that's going to sit somewhere because I, I feel like um, a lot of people like already have a lot of stuff and um, getting more gifts that are just going to sit around your house can be kind of not frustrating but a little overwhelming because you have to figure out where to put things. That's why I'm opting to go with more um, 
I guess active gifts active would be a good word because yeah they're using them um, and going on with that the next thing that I personally think is like beautiful idea um, pins and highlighters if you have someone in your family or if your friend is a college student get them some pins and highlighters because they're going into the spring semester and they probably have used up a lot from the fall or if they're like me they've probably lost a lot of them um, either through the semester or over break and now need new ones so that's a really good option for them okay this one is like usable generally but um, it is a little bit niche um, for my generation and um, just like how I feel but this one is a portable reusable straw which sounds really weird but if you know someone who travels a lot or they're on the go a lot um, and they are trying to be more environmentally conscious this is a great option because um, instead of having to keep a full straw in your car most of these have some sort of mechanism to where they like fold up or like slip into themselves um, I actually have one that my school gave me um, and part of a care package that I'll show on the screen to see how that works um, and usually they'll come with like a little brush cleaner and um, capsule to put it back in so whenever you're done with it um, if you have a sink nearby wherever you're at you can clean it or if you don't you can put it back in the little capsule so it's not just dirty sitting in your car this next one I feel like I probably could have listed it as a first item because it's just so practical um, but gift cards <laughs> my cat has decided that it is time to play and it is time to zoom so if you hear her she's climbing all over the cat tree that's Stella that's making all the noise you can never go wrong with a gift card if you're shopping for a student find out what um, restaurants are nearby their campus um, buy them a Barnes & Noble gift card or whatever bookstore they have um, Starbucks next and this um, this one again is a little a little niche for my channel but it is trial sizes or mini sizes of makeup or skincare or fragrances um, if you're shopping for someone and you know that they've mentioned wanting to try a specific scent or a specific product if it comes in a mini size or a trial size get them that because one it'll save you money but also if they've never tried it before and they don't like it they don't have a whole product um, that isn't wasted so it kind of benefits both of you and the last few things that I have are all like more personalized and some are a little more creative the first thing is like if you know the person you're shopping for their zodiac sign and they're into astrology um, and things like that then like a necklace or a bracelet or um, a little like artist print of with like a quote about their sign but something like that that'll fit in the stocking but that just makes it more personal for them um, and then this one um, can go either two ways you can buy personalized Christmas ornaments um, from local shops or also online I was would prefer to support a small business um, but it's actually a tradition in my family to get ornaments so this was one they got me um, last year that has me and my fiance on it like him proposing to me and then this was also um, our Christmas last year I don't know if it'll there we go yeah so these are really cute but um, I think they can get a little expensive depending on where you're getting them from um, a different option is to buy these clear ornaments which you can get um, at Michaels or Joann's sometimes even Walmart for like a dollar this was 99 cents but it was on sale at the time as well um, and you can fill these with anything like if they like glitter or something like you can fill it with glitter uh, I've seen them done where people will um, pour acrylic paint into them and kind of swirl them around to make like a cool art one or you can put like a photo of you and that person inside of it or um, like a quote on a pretty piece of paper and pretty writing that looks cute but literally like whatever you think they would like the final thing 
isn't really a stuffer it's actually the stocking itself so if you um if this person doesn't already have a stocking like if you don't if you're not like family and you reuse the same stocking every year but if you're like getting a stocking for someone and you really want to make it special um you can like get something that has a logo on it that they like like if they like star wars or the mandalorian baby yoda is everywhere <laughs> Like, oh my god. I I could not believe, like, how much, like, Baby Yoda stuff there's been. And there were, like, Baby Yoda um, stockings. But if they like that, or um, if you want to get one and put their name on it, you can get, like, the iron-on patches from the um, fabric section of Walmart or at any craft store. And you just iron on the patches, put their name on it, and that's pretty easy. Or if you want to go even further um, and again support a small business um, there's a lot of people uh, I know specifically on Etsy um, I've seen them where you can get a customized um, a customized stocking like where it's hand knit and you can pick the colors and you can put their name on it and all that um, and actually the stockings we have for our house this year uh, my fiance's grandmother made for us uh, his is green and red and mine is like a maroon and silver color um so like that that's nice to have something that's like handmade and again if it's personalized that's even more special so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video despite the interruption from my cats um if you have any other ideas for stocking stuffers that you want to share down in the comments and like build like a community list go ahead and do that if you want um and yeah, happy vlogmas and I will see you tomorrow.